hello everyone uh, welcome back to the live stream and in today's live stream we are going to create an uh, animation that's a, a crushed bottle animation or bottle crushed animation we are using like blender 3.0 and we are going to use the soft body simulation for the animation and now let's get started without any further ado before that before starting and like animation let's do a modeling uh, fast modeling of a bottle uh, let's go in the, into the front view and add a cylinder and move this up by pressing G Shift control and let's press that here. And we don't want the upper face, so let's delete the face. So press delete and then select the faces to delete the uh, any face you want. And let's select, uh, let's click on the each select uh, mode out here, or you can press number two, F2, and not F2, it's the number two in the keyboard. And then let's loop select all the edges by pressing Alt and then left click on any loop cut. And let's see from the front view and let's grab and grab towards the z axis and now let's extrude the edge and now we're going to scale it down like this a very rough bottle shift like the extrude and z z axis and let's once more let's extrude. let's scale it down by pressing s like this and now last let's select a few <coughs> faces H edges and let's also select from the middle of the bottle and now let's let's now bevel it by pressing ctrl B and then you, you can drag your mouse to add a bevel 
I think it's uh, it's looking great. Uh, so uh, let's keep it uh, in the in the round shaped. Uh, maybe you can select the uh, bottom faces and you can add an inset. And once more, you can set inset and then grab in Z axis by pressing G and then drag it towards G. And let's go to you know, wireframe, remove that. And maybe we should. Select the each loop and let's uh, let's scale it down in x and x and y axis. And to do that, you need to select uh, the each loops and then press Shift Z to deselect the Z axis, and then you can scale it down in in y and x axis. And not Y, yep, Y in X axis. And let's go back to object mode. Now I think we need to uh, refill the bottle cap by Alt by selecting a whole each loop by pressing Alt and then. You click left on the any loop cut and press F to fill and now we have a roughly modeled a bottle and let's shade smooth let's add a modifier called uh, subsurface modifier I think we need more loop cut. Maybe, maybe it will distract in uh, adding like more geometry will make uh, our computer slower. So, for that reason. I'm not going to use uh, any like subsurface modifier or increase the like poly counts for the mesh. Uh, it will be much more heavier for the computer. So let's keep as as low as possible for the model. And now let's sh uh, shade the bottle. Let's give a material light bluish and we're going to decrease the roughness till 2.5 uh, 2 let's make it a little shinier and also we can increase the transmission up to 1 and then for the IRO it's uh, for the plastic I think it's 1.330 let's 1.330 for the subsurface also right now it's uh, does not look like uh, where it's kind of like very reflective thing glass but we can see the transparency in the in cycle render not a EV so CPU and let's go to the render mode it will yep before that we'll let's add uh, add uh, world color maybe we are going to use uh, not a world color I'm going to use a HDRI uh, you can download the HDRI from the HDRI heaven and 
let's uh, click uh, on the velo dot uh, label as color and then select the texture environment and let's open the HDR ring from so let's say HDRI called root and now we have uh, If you add uh, SDRI, then you don't have to add any light. It will act. Uh, SDRI will act as a light. And now let's add a <coughs> ground floor, which is we are going to use a plane, and we are going to scale it up uh, very big, like this much. And now also we are going to add a a collision, uh, like a kind of hydraulic press. Uh, we need to something to press the bottle to be crushed. So let's add a cube or maybe you can use even cylinder like a crusher. I'm going to use a cylinder and grab this in Z axis and let's scale it up a little bit. that's looking great and maybe we should give a material to the bo uh, both the ground and the crusher so let's let's give uh, let's give a color of a maybe red I think I, orange let's give a color of orange let's decrease the maybe the roughness maybe up to four because it's a metal it will have uh, some uh, reflection from the metal and let's also create a material for the ground let's keep it a uh, white but let's decrease the roughness to zero to give a shine yep. Yep, that's working good. Now let's uh, animate the crusher before the uh, bottle because if we add a um, soft water simulation on the bottle before uh, animating it will create uh, it will be like there will be some issues with the uh, simulation so that's why we need to first animate uh, the crusher so to animate the crusher let's bring up the timeline and let's add a key frame key keyframe the current location uh, to add a keyframe you need to press a i and then select the location and we have cre uh, created added a keyframe in the first frame and let's go to the um, like around 30 frames and we're going to bring the crusher uh, almost halfway to the bottle in the axis and let's make it this much and we are also going to 
add a keyframe at the location and let's keep a around 10 frame in the same location as a keyframe and let's give an interval of uh, 30 frames that is what do you put this as <coughs> that is in frame 70 and then let's let's bring up the crusher or you can just uh, duplicate this frame by shift D and drag to frame number 70 and there we have a, a keyframe added so let's see how it's going yep, it's it's pretty fast if you want the simulation to be slow you can like uh, add a more time interval between the each keyframes. Uh, right now, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to keep it as it. And let's bring down the end frame to 80. Let's scale a bit because the crusher a bottle is penetrating the crusher maybe we don't need because uh, we're in time of the simulation it will crushed by the crusher right now we don't have any simulation that's why bottle is penetrating to the crusher and now let's add a, a physics properties to the ground and the crusher as a collision at collision and increase the dampling dampling by around maybe around 8.8 point eight. and likewise let's add a physics property to the ground also let's increase the dampling up to point eight now let's get back to the bottle and let's add a soft body simulation uh, physics and right now we have a uh, kind of weird uh, animation out here so we need to adjust adjust the uh, some settings so let's get back let's uh, decide the goal and let's uh, uh, click on the arrow and there will be some settings to be done added in the edge let's uh, bring back a pool value up to not not it but 0.95 and the push value to be 0.9 uh, it's a uh, resistant for the uh, like simulation and let's increase dampling to all the way to 10 and uh, not 10 I think it's uh, maybe 50 so that it will not jiggle the bottle and let's uh, increase the plasticity to the 10 because I uh, like all the way up to the hundred because we don't want the like rebounds of the bottle to the normal shape and we want bottle to be like uh, like retain the shape of the crushed one so that's why we're going to increase the plastic uh, plasticity plasticity or all the way up to ten let's uh, bring like bending to all the way to ten and that's it and for the self collision we're going to take it and we're going to keep it as a default right now and let's drag down the solver and let's increase the step size minimum of to up to 10 because it will make uh, our animation a little bit better
Yep, I think we are back right now. We have a short kind of like disconnected with the streaming app. Maybe uh, let's maybe let's decrease the dumpling to fourteen. I think maybe that's the issue. No, no, no. Because I think uh, this uh, the, uh, the bottle is disappearing. I think uh, maybe because due to the because of a a not enough uh, geometry to the bottle I think I think we need to uh, maybe let's add a uh, subdivide to add a subdivide uh, go to edit mode by pressing tap and select all the like vertex or face and edge loops by pressing a and then right click on the on the viewport and let's sub uh, select the sub divide and we are going to uh, increase the number of cuts uh, yeah maybe 10 all the way up to there it will be heavier for I think now it's kind of like slowing down the hmm, blender app. I think we need to remodel it because we didn't uh, did it right. So let's let's remodel the bottle. We accidentally now delete the <laughs> ground floor. Let's wait for some time. Let's delete the bottle and now counter is much more lighter so let's add a mesh let's add a uh, cylinder let's decrease the vertex maybe let's Six vertex is quite low, and it will be good to go, I think. And let's bring it up by G, G and Z control. And now let's remodel the bottle. So view mode. Let's, let's get the. Let's grab the each loop and the drag like before. And now let's extrude. Increase it then scale down like this. Let's G and C maybe. I think we are going to extrude, extrude one more and scale it down like this. And let's extrude one more time. That's going to be nice. Let's get back to solid mode. Yep. And now let's add a material. Let's add a material. Go to material and let's choose select color blue, light blue, and increase the transmission all the way to up. And let's subsurface to be one point three three zero. And I always uh, 1.330. Uh, if you don't know the like uh, index of refraction, you can check it out from the internet, from the Google. You can Google it, and you will find the all the necessary uh, values for the IRO of the plastic, or or you can even like search for any kind of like 
uh, IRO. Now we have input. One thing we need to do is uh, let's give a bottle cap a different color, not a transparent one. And let's uh, go to slot and add one more slot that it will show a slot to. And let's create a new material. I have white and this transmission to be zero. Uh, we we don't want to change anything right now. And let's uh, let's go to edit mode and press three. Let's select the this loop edge and select the top fill. And now we're going to select the material number four and assign it now we will have a different uh, color for the bottle like that and, and let's get back to the animation i think we one thing is we need to add a uh, more look cut or maybe we can subdivide it like this maybe around six cut is quite good and, and now let's add a add a simulation go to the physics property and let's add soft body and uncheck the goal and let's bring the pool value all the way to up to the point nine five and push to the point nine point nine is correct and dampling to be around maybe let's give a value of thirty five and plus it is all the way to 100 and bending to be 10 and cell collision solver, solver to be 50 and let's uh, change in bake setting we can use big uh, i think maybe around 70 and value to 70 and close that and let's see how it's working right now hmm. it's getting out from the <laughs> from a plane because we, I think we need to reduce let's I don't know why it's happening GMC let's this much and maybe let's increase the dampling of a plane uh, way up to one and we going to we are going to add some more look cut around the bottle middle part especially let's add a look cut look cut good and now let's see once more with the simulation
I think the water is sticking out from the plane because because of a uh, push and pull value maybe we can maybe we can decrease up to maybe 0.8 and let's make this around like point hmm, 0.75 and now let's see once more let's check Maybe it's because of maybe like weight of uh, bottle. We didn't set uh, any weight to it. I think like empty bottle will be weighing around maybe 15 to 20 grams. Maybe let's set the weight of a object. Like uh, right now it's one kg. It's uh, much like it's more than like a uh, hundred times. Uh, like heavier than the empty bottle right now let's bring uh, value up to like maybe 0 0.2 around 20 20 grams if you go below around below around 0.1 it will be it will create and um, some issues so let's maybe let's increase up value once more like around 9 and point nine five let's see how it's working point nine it's I think it's quite heavy heavy right now maybe we can Bring up the value maybe. It's disappearing. I think the value can be like point eight is better. I think uh, that's point seven five. Yeah. I think it will much more better maybe it's uh, much more faster to like bake than like seeing the result in a viewport so let's uh, before baking let's save this project file uh, project Save the project file and then maybe let's uh, bake so it will be much more easier for computer to simulate the animation. If if your like uh, simulation is not working well, then you can I think uh, you can play with the value until. You, you get the right uh, value for the animation well, after baking your animation does not look good then you, what you can do is you can delete the bake and tweak uh, the setting and you can rebake so that you will get a nice animation
now let's see how it's working yep it's working quite good but there's one issue uh, like before it uh, bottle is contact with the crusher it's uh, jiggling because it's because of the of a like force field maybe gravity uh, and weight and what we can do is we can like the simulate from the frame where the uh, crusher is getting contact with the bottle right now it's around maybe 15 Yep, in six frame 16, uh, the crusher is con uh, in contact uh, contracting with the like bottle, and for that let's delete big and let's a uh, a simulation start frame to be start from the 16, so that you will get a nice uh, a nice uh, simulation. Almost um, now it's almost done. Yep, now down with the baking. Now let's see once more how it's looking. Yep, that's uh, it's it have a nice simulation. if you are like satisfied with your with your animation and you can add a camera and you can render it out so and, and that's the tourist uh, to, uh, like live tutorial uh, class and hope you 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 are able to create uh, amazing animation using a blender simulation thing and that's it and see you in the next live class so thank you for being with me till now and thank you for your support and see you in the next live stream bye bye